Okay, so today we're going to talk about an expression that we can use in After Effects that comes in handy when making lower thirds. We want to be able to make a lower third that is dynamic, that can change according to the length of somebody's name. We can use this expression to build certain elements of a lower third so that it's completely dynamic. And that expression is source rect at time. Now let's jump into After Effects and I'll show you how we can use this expression to build our lower third. So we're going to make a new comp. We're going to just, uh, I'm just going to name this uh, lower third. And I just have a normal 10, 8, 1920 by 1080 uh, composition here. I have about six seconds long. So I'm just going to hit OK. So we have this blank um, composition here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my uh, text tool. I'm just going to put in a random name. And then I'm going to grab my uh, selection tool here and I'm going to go to the align panel here. I'm just going to align it to the middle and align it to the middle. So we have it right there in the middle. Not necessary, but I, I just like to, this is part of my workflow. Then I'm going to take this and I'm going to take the anchor point and I'm going to hit control. It's going to snap it right to the middle there. So that's clicking while holding control and it'll snap it right to the middle. Go back to my selection tool. Okay, so we have our... Um, text layer. Now one thing I'm going to also do, just this is just the way I like this font, uh, I'm just going to change it to all caps. Okay, and that's going to change our alignment. So again, we're going to have to go here and adjust that. And then I'm going to go back to align and make sure that we're in the middle. Okay. All right. The next thing is to deselect our text layer. And I'm going to relay, rename this text layer to just name. So I know that that is where that's the layer that deals with our name. And that's important later because we need the name of that layer to uh, correspond with our expression that we're going to put in. So now I'm going to make sure that I'm not selected on any layers and I'm going to come up to the shape tool and I'm going to double click and that creates a rectangle that's the size of our composition. So in this case 1920 by 1080. And uh, for this purpose I'm just going to change the um, the fill to white, the stroke to white, but for now I'm just going to make the stroke zero. Okay, so now we're going to go to rectangle, rectangle path, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a expression on the position here, and we're just going to alt click to bring up the expression, and we are going to pick whip this to the size. Okay, it's going to create this expression, and then we're just going to put divided by two. Super simple. Okay, it's going to move it right there. And basically what that's going to make it is so that the, this uh, this shape right here will grow from the top right corner. So when it scales up and down according to the size of the text, it's scaling from this top right corner. Um, okay, now the next one is going to be on the size of this, uh, of this path. We're going to alt click and we're going to delete this. So we have blank, and I'll include this expression in the uh, description, but just copy this expression, copy, and we're going to go back to the size here and paste that. Now we do need to modify this, but just one small modification, and that is the name here of the layer that we're taking the size from. So in this case, it's our text layer, which is labeled name. Okay, so it's basically telling this um, this expression, source rectangle at time, that it wants to take the information from the layer labeled name. So this is really the expression that we're using here, is the source rec at time rect standing for rectangle and we're basically telling it take the information from the text layer and uh, apply it to the width of this and the height of this okay and so this doesn't have to be text layers but this is when you're doing lower thirds this is a great way to use this so just click off of that now you'll see our our uh, our square or our rectangle now is the same size as our text and I'm just going to change the color of this rectangle so that it stands out from the text and we'll put it underneath the, the name and we will 
put it right behind there. Now you'll see if we take our text tool and we um, change the name. There we go. And it looks like it's a little um, to the right, so I can just zoom in here and boom. Now I can parent this, so if I move the text layer anywhere, it'll follow it, or I can keep it. Okay, so I can change that the length of that text and so now what I can do is uh, so that's one style you could have right there um, uh, one way that I like to do this is I like to select my shape layer and I'll just make the um, stroke the same color as the fill and then I'll just increase the stroke size so we get a little bit of a box around it um, the other thing too you can do is you can um, make it a round rectangle, right? So all of these things you can do and you can customize it however you want. Okay, and I've skipped ahead here just to show you uh, a, a one way you can use this as say like an alpha mat. So I have this animation here of a name coming in and uh, what I'm basically doing is I've made my shape layer with my expression on it and I've just uh, copied it and used it uh, as a alpha mat. So if I turn on this layer, you'll see um, I've got that, I basically got the same layer copied, but just turn the, the color to black and I'm using it as an alpha layer. So when this, this uh, text comes down wherever that alpha layer it reveals so that's just one way you can use this um, in your lower thirds or in your animations to uh, help um, keep things all organized for your editor so that they don't have to jump in to after effects or if you're the editor and you're also the graphics person um, making your jump back into after effects Hopefully you'll be able to find this expression useful. I'll leave it in the description. Feel free to take it, use it. I definitely didn't come up with it. Um, there's lots of tutorials out there where you can get the same expression. Start using this in your lower thirds. Start using this in all the motion graphics that you do, especially if you know you're making something that will eventually be uh, turned into a template for an editor. Um, this is a great way to help your editor um, and save them some headache.